everyone today i'm going to discuss how to exchange your driver license for a driver license in korea so the question is is it possible to drive in south korea using your driver license issued in your country the answer is no but you can exchange your foreign driver's license for a korean driver's license for you to be allowed to drive in south korea and that is what this video is all about so first be sure that the country where your license was issued belongs to those countries acknowledged or recognized for the exchange of a driver's license so how would you know that you may look at this list and as you can see on your screen these are the list of countries which are recognized so the importance of checking this list will identify the requirements that you need to prepare for the process when a driver license is issued by a recognized country or on this list a written examination will not be necessary for you so you don't need to take the written exam and after checking that you may now check the required documents for this process so what are the requirements so first, for a foreigner who has a license issued in a recognized country, you must prepare these documents. So number one, original foreign license. Be sure that this license is valid. Another one is original passport. That passport will confirm your entry and departure. And then your original alien registration card, your ARC and three colored photos taken within six months of course the size of that if you want to make it on your own if you want to take a picture you want to print it on your own the size would be 3.5 by 4.5 centimeters and if you have those you have to prepare also your embassy certificate or a postal for the license so how are you going to process this one that depends on which country you are from but for the filipinos you have to prepare your certification from the land transportation office your lto and department of transportation and communications confirming the validity of the said license so Next to that is a DFA authentication of the LTO certificate. So after getting your LTO and DTC uh, confirming the validity of your license, you have to authenticate that sa DFA. Okay, so presentation of your original Philippine driver's license and submit a photocopy. Then last one, you have to present your valid passport and a photocopy and of course you have to visit the embassy for the application and you have to pay the certification fee the verification process will take five working days from the application date so if you have these documents together with the form that you have to fill out at the embassy you have to submit this at the embassy and you have to wait for five days and if you're done with that you also have to get your certificate of the facts concerning your entry or exit be sure that you have to tell them that you need your uh, your record from your birth year to the present so how are you going to get this you just go to dong samoso or jumin center and ask for these documents you had just have to pay 1001 for this for this document and then after that one you have also to prepare your cash for your health check so some centers they have their own testing center so you just have to pay six thousand one and typically this health check uh, is an eye exam then after that one your license issuance you have to pay probably eight from eight thousand to ten thousand that depends on which center register or you want to exchange your license so those are the things that you need to prepare when you want to exchange your driver license your foreign license to a dr korean driver's license so let's just repeat those 
information, original foreign license, original passport, your original ARC, then three colored photos, embassy certificate or apostle for the license, and certificate of the facts concerning entry and exit, and your fee. So those are the things that you need and if this is complete, you will not be having a problem anymore exchanging your foreign driver license to a Korean driver license. I hope this video helps. If you find it helpful and useful to our viewers and subscribers, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is Indonesia Korea. See you next time. Bye!